guys! Sorry it's been a little while since I did my last violin tips and advice video, but I'm excited to get back started with this series. And I think the last time I talked to you guys, we had covered um, how to purchase your first violin and just really basic tips and advice on what, the, what you should look for when you're just starting out as a beginner. So today, I kind of wanted to play off of that and start right from the beginning, so maybe now you have your first violin and you're not really sure how to maintain it or what to do with it. I just want to talk about maintaining your bow and your violin just at a really basic level. So I actually used to teach really young students how to play the violin. Maybe about five years ago I was doing that. One of the things that I noticed happened a lot with my beginner students was that they would never wipe down their violin after practicing and that's like one of the most basic things that you need to get in the habit of doing because if you don't do that on a regular basis you're going to get all that rosin buildup underneath the fingerboard, like all over your violin, and it can actually cake on over time and can kind of sometimes be very difficult to remove and in some cases can even damage the varnish of the violin. So it's not something that you want to deal with because it's a very simple fix. All you need is a pretty basic cloth. <laughs> all you do is just take some of your cloth, thread it through there, and then just kind of go up and down a couple of times like that. And then you do the same thing underneath the strings on top of the fingerboard. You also want to do underneath the bridge and the tail piece as well, so again, you know, just gentle pressure, just enough to pick up the excess rosin. You don't want to press down too hard because this is a fragile instrument. And you can also get the tops of the strings too if there's a lot of rosin build up there, but that's about it. It's really simple to do. Another way to maintain your violin is to change the strings when necessary. So that's going to be very different for a lot of you and my advice would be different to those of you who are beginners and those of you who are playing at a more advanced level. I change my strings just about every three months now, I've just kind of gotten in the habit of that, but I play a lot and I do you know, different public performances where my violin is exposed to different climates. Sometimes at my shows there's fog machines and things like that, so that will always affect your strings in various ways. So I just change mine every three months. I want to avoid the strings getting too old so that there's no breakage on stage. And I also just know that the tone quality of the strings starts to kind of fade after about that time for me with how much I play. So that's how often I change mine. But when I was younger and just starting out, I used to just keep those strings on there as long as I possibly could. They would actually start to unravel. You can definitely get away with every six months to a year. If it's not broken, then you can kind of ride those strings as long as you want to. It'll save you some money. And when you're not playing professionally or if you're not doing performances and you're not really noticing a tonal quality difference, like if you have a beginner instrument it's really not going to make that much of a difference, then you might as well just get your money's worth. But anything that starts to affect your playing or distracts you, like if there's a little nick or gouge out of one of the strings, then just change it. Beginner level strings aren't that expensive anyway, and if you're only changing them once a year, then you know, it's not that big of a deal. One other thing I want to show you guys is your bridge leaning too far forward, kind of how this one is, or leaning too far backwards. If the tilt becomes too much, it can actually fall over and that can cause a lot of problems. Um, so just keep an eye out for that. It's kind of tricky and scary actually to tilt the bridge back up yourself. If you want to do it, then just use very gentle movements 